The following video contains content and or language which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Astromats and Entertainment Inc. presents the Adventures of Microsoft Sam and His Friends, Episode 15, The Beautiful Finale, Super Friends Save the Studio. Wow. A dip in the pool is so much fun. You said it, Miss M. Huh? My iPhone is ringing. I wonder who's calling me. Hello, this is Miss Madsen speaking. Hello, Miss M. This is Dave, and I'm here with my cousin Astro at his studio. The problem is that we can't get into his studio because we've been locked out by those troublemakers. So can you come to our rescue so that we can teleport into the studio? All right, Dave. We're on our way right now. Oh, good. See you later, Miss M. See you later, Dave. Oh no. This is horrible. What's the matter, Miss M? Dave and Astro are in big trouble. They can't get into the studio because those troublemakers locked them out. Oh my god. This can't be happening. We have to tell Cedric about this right now. Okay, Jenny. Let's go. Oh boy, how I love watching Ultraman set. One of my favorite Ultraman series. Cedric, we have something shocking we need to tell you. So can you please turn off your TV for a second? Alright, Miss M and Jenny, what's the shocking news all about? I got a call from Dave Madsen, and he said to me that he and Astro have been locked out by the troublemakers and they can't get in. Oh no, that's freaking terrible, I better get the rest of my squad over here. Is something wrong, Cedric? Yeah, what is going on? I'm wondering the same thing too. So am I. Me too. Me three. Me four. And me five. Can you please tell us what happened? Guys, they've called Miss M and said that he and Astro have been locked out by the troublemakers and they can't get into Astro's studio. Oh no. This is bad. Really bad. I agree with you, Pedro. So, what are we going to do? I asked the same question. Well Ian and Geneva, we're going to my half-brother's studio, help Dave and Astro get in, and take those troublemakers who locked them out. So may we please take your squad bus to Astro Madsen's studio? Sure, Miss M and Jenny. Alright then. We'll get the bus ready to go. Hey everyone, am I interrupting? Not really, John. John, how's the kid? The kid's fine, Lala. Where are you guys going? We're going to Astro's studio to help Dave and Astro get in and take the troublemakers who locked them out. And we were in a hurry because Dave and Astro really need our help. Mind if I help you on your mission? I say the same thing. Me too. Of course, John, Sylvie, and Barry, hop in. Oh yes. The Heroes League 98 is exactly what we needed. They can help us take those troublemakers who locked Dave and Astro up in the studio. All right, everyone, what are we waiting for? We're going to Astro Madsen's studio. There's no time to waste. Cad, how long did we have to stay outside of your studio, Astro? It's like the Sahara Desert out here. I don't know, Dave, but I hope that Miss M, Jenny, the JCTN squad, and the Heroes League 98 arrive here soon. I hope so too, Astro. So am I. And soon is right now. Miss M, how's the kid? The kid's fine, Dave. I brought Jenny, the JCTN squad, and the Heroes League 98 with me, and they want to tell you what is going on. It's a good thing that you didn't get hurt by those troublemakers, Astro and Dave. Do you know who those troublemakers are? As a matter of fact, Wanda and I do. The troublemakers who locked us out of the studio are Montana Max, Elmira Duff, Natural Microsoft Sam, Natural Microsoft Mike, and Natural Microsoft Mary. Oh my goodness, not my worst nemesis. And even the Natural Microsoft Gang. Okay seriously, what are those troublemakers doing this time? Montana, 
Elmira, and the natural Microsoft gang took the pink star angels hostage. They did what? Yes, Miss Sim. They take that so-called Anderson sibling sock puppets hostage by those ass wipes. Oh no. How dare they lock you guys out and take our friends hostage? This is unacceptable. There's no need to worry, Miss Madsen and Jenny. While we were speeding our squad bus, we called the Microsoft gang to come and help us. You got that right, Barry. Sam, how's the kid? The kid's fine, Astro. So, what seems to be the problem? Dave, Astro, Rhonda and Wanda have been locked out by Cedric's worst nemesis and the natural Microsoft gang. Not only that, they took Miss M's pink star angels hostage. Holy shnikes. How dare they lock Dave, Astro, Rhonda and Wanda out of the studio. Wait a minute. Rhonda and Wanda, didn't you two use your teleportation ability to get into the studio? We were supposed to do that, Mary. But we don't want to get taken hostage by those troublemakers. Well, don't worry. We got your back. We called Terry Shelton and Clarence Crow to help you guys get into the studio. You got that right, Scotty. Right behind you, Terry. Terry, my sweetie. Thank goodness you're here. And so does my darling, Clarence. Hey there, Missy. We heard from Cedric that Astro, Dave, Rhonda and Wanda can't get into the studio. Well, we got just a thing. We can teleport you all into the building to Astro Madsen's studio. Everyone hang on tight to your blinders, because we are going in. Here we go. Well guys, here we are at Astro's studio. You got that right, Johnny. Right behind you, Sylvie. But something is going on over there. Just look. Help. Help. We've been taken hostage. I can't stand being a threat with those troublemakers. We don't want any of us to be killed. I would hate it if that happens. I say the same thing, Hannah. So am I. Ditto. Oh no. The Pink Star Angels are in massive trouble. We better save all of them before. Not so fast, Miss Madsen and company. company. Those Finker. It's Montana Max and Elmira Duff. And the natural Microsoft gang is with them. How did you guys know? Did you recognize us by our names? And did you recognize us by our looks too? Of course we did. Well, well, well. We meet again. Montana and Elmira. All right, you two spoiled idiots. What purpose do you have in taking over Astro Madsen's studio in the first place? First off, we are absolutely furious at Miss Madsen for defeating Clyde and Stephanie's legitimate parents. And second, we are also absolutely furious at her and Dave for winning the lawsuit against that generic YouTube troll that makes imposter channels out of them. And because of that, we will give those Anderson sock puppets an extremely severe punishment since they are now affiliated with Miss Manson. You stupid jerks. You'll pay for what you did to my friends. And you'll pay for taking over my studio. One false move and I will kick you in the crow's nest. It's crotch, not crow's nest. Watch it or I'll whack you with a fancy post. It's fence post, not fancy post. You and your wacky mouth. It's time for me to show my power. Don't make me laugh, you taco hog. I am not a taco hog. You has wipe. <laughs> You son of a bitch. Look at what you did to Natural Sam. For that, you're going to get yours. Not a chance, Mr. Natural Lady's voice. Now it's my turn to show you my power. I do not talk like a lady. You're... No, you are. Now shut up, you natural ass like. <laughs> Thank you.
You ass swipe. How dare you beat natural Mike up with your stupid superpower. That does it. I'm going to. Hey 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 hey. Don't say crow's nest again, Miss Natural Manly Voice. I do not talk like a man. You are. No, you are. Now shut the fuck up, you ugly vixen. <laughs> Curses. You think we're foiled. You think right, natural Sam. I can't believe those Microsoft fools have superpowers now. Now we can't take those ass wipes down for a whole month. Oh, power per box. <laughs> Right, Microsoft Gang. You're all asking for it. Since you took the natural Microsoft Gang down, we have no choice but shit all over the Anderson Sark puppets. No. Don't do it. You stupid jerks. Don't worry, Cedric, I got this. Hey, you two little dummies. How about you shit all over us? Wait, what? Are you freaking serious or something? Come on, what are you standing here for? Shit on us, if you dare. He's certainly asking for it, isn't he? He certainly is, Montana. Let's get them. Bombs away. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's my decoy. What else? Take that thing away. It creeps us the hell out like the spooky animatronics of Fazbear's Pizzeria. I don't think so, you little dummies. I send out that decoy to defend ourselves from your atomic enema. Wow, John. That's a cool move. Why, thank you, Jenny Madsen. Now it's our turn to take an atomic enema on them. May we tag along? Sure, Cedric. Why not? Are you ready, Jenny? I'm ready when you are, John. Let's get those spoiled brats, Miss M. You said it, Cedric. Fire in the hole. We've been dumped. Yuck. I'm covered in massive diarrhea. Ew. You did it. You turned the tables on those two brats. You said it, Athena. Just look at them, Barry. They got a taste of their own medicine. Not only that, they got the skunk syndrome. What's going on here? We're telling you what is going on here, Sergeant. Montana Max, Elmira Duff, and the natural Microsoft gang took the Pink Star Angels hostage and locked Dave, Astro, Ronta and Wanda out of the studio. The natural Microsoft gang tried to torment the girls, but Sam, Mike and Mary used their superpowers to knock them down. And now they're sprawled in the basement. Then Montana and Elmira tried to take a massive dump on the girls in retaliation, but John used a decoy to defend themselves and he took a dump on them along with Jenny, Cedric and Miss M. And now those two spoiled brats got tastes of their own medicine. Well, we might have guessed. I can see the natural Microsoft gang knocked down on the basement. It's a good thing that we wear our gas masks, because those two brats are covered in massive diarrhea. While Sergeant C.J. Randolph and Officer Flanagan take the natural Microsoft gang into custody, we will take those spoiled brats to juvenile confinement. You do that, General. Now that we took down Cedric's worst nemesis and the natural Microsoft gang, let us save the Pink Star Angels. That's a good idea, Kennedy. Hang on, girls, we'll save all of you.
After Sergeant O. Randolph and Officer Flanagan took the natural Microsoft gang into custody, the three generals took Montana and Elmira into juvenile confinement, and the JCT in Squad and Heroes Lead 98 saved the Pink Star Angels. Wow, JCT in Squad and the Heroes Lead 98. We're so glad that you've come to save all of us. We couldn't stand those troublemakers who will try to torment all of us. But thanks to all of you, we are now free from that awful punishment. Well said, Lily. Right behind you, Emily. Ditto. Thanks for taking those troublemakers down and for saving all of our lives. You're our heroes. You're welcome. You can always count on the JCTN squad and the Heroes League 98 whenever you girls are in big trouble. Hey guys. What just happened here? I say the same thing as Caillou. Caillou? You're here. We're just about to celebrate because the JCTN squad and Heroes League 98 gave the natural Microsoft gang, Montana Max and Elmira Duff their just desserts and saved us all. Wow. JCTN squad and Heroes League 98. We're so proud of all of you for saving my sister and stepsisters from the hands of those troublemakers. I agree with Caillou. For this, we're giving you a reward of $2 million or 113,660,000 Philippine pesos. Awesome. We have a special reward money. Thanks to you and Cody. We totally appreciate it. You're welcome, John and Cedric. Let's be besties together. Is that okay with you? You bet, Caillou and Cody. Welcome to the squad, Caillou and Cody Anderson. Hey, everyone. How's everything going? I'd say the same thing, too. Everything is going great. Eric and Kimberly. We're just about to celebrate because Montana and Elmira are being sent to juvenile confinement. Oh yeah. You're talking about those two little idiots who assisted the natural Microsoft gang who tried to torment the Anderson Foster siblings, but they got caught in the act, huh? They are the ones. Well, we might have guessed. Looks like I missed all the fun. But anyways, my brother Eric. Kimberly and I are going to teach those spoiled idiots a strong and strict lesson if they escaped from the penitentiary. All right then, Kate. I just hope that those two spoiled brats learned their lesson for once. Well, JCT and squad, our work here is done. You said it, Cedric. Cedric, I want to thank you for saving the Pink Star Angels from those stupid troublemakers. You're welcome, Miss M. And I also want to thank you for taking back my studio. Yes, Cedric. Thank you for saving my future cousin's studio. You're very welcome, Dave and Astro. Now that everything's back to normal, it's time for a celebration. Great idea, Jenny. Oh, by the way, Astro, what are the Pink Star Angels doing here? Well, we called the Pink Star Angels to help us get ready for a very special celebration. But since those troublemakers arrived at the studio and they locked us out, we didn't continue our preparation. Oh, I think I know what that is. What is it, Terry? Happy early birthday, birthday Mrs. Madison. Madison. Oh my god! You remember my birthday? Yes, Missy. Cedric told us about your special day. So we've planned something special for you, Miss Sam. And we hope you're gonna like it. Wow! Thank you so much, everyone! You guys are the best! You're welcome, Miss Sam. Well, since you guys didn't continue your party preparation, I just found a place where we can celebrate Miss Madsen's early birthday. Ah, that's a relief. So where are we going to celebrate Miss M's birthday? I thought you'd never asked, Wanda. Ciao, Abanga. Primo, dude. When
Entertainment Inc. Production.